Real Estate CRM Demo Using Muddy.com for Real Estate Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we will be showing you how you could use Muddy.com for your real estate business. Now as you can see right now on our screen, I have created a new account in Muddy.com. So let's actually start from the very beginning so that you could understand how we set up our Monday.com. Now, as you can see, the first question that ask, that is being asked is, Hey there, what brings you here today? So you're going to say what you would like to use Monday.com for. So we can say work and I'm currently a business owner. Let's click on continue. Then how many people are on your team? If you have multiple people on your team, if you have some employees or people who helps you, you could put them on this list over here. And after that, you can simply click on continue once again. Now, it will ask you what you would like to manage. It is very important that you select the correct options over here because it will customize your Monday.com later on to fit the information that you are inputting. Now, since we are going to be doing real estate, and you could expect that real estate is related to sales and CRM, you're going to have to look for the sales and CRM option over here. So simply select this option and then simply click on continue once again. After that, uh, you will have the focus over here. Simply think what is the most related or what type of option is closely or as close as related to the real estate CRM. So I chose marketing activities because technically it's marketing activities. But if you have different focuses, for your real estate you could choose that as well for example you want to focus on task management with your different employees with how you handle your real estate uh, encounters or your real estate tasks so we could do that as well or if you want to focus on quotes and invoices you could do that as well there's also customer onboarding lead management and many other options so it depends on your focus now click on next again now, on the last question, you don't need to really answer this, so we're going to skip that. Now, after entering those information, you will now be given the option to invite different users if you want. Now, right now, I don't think it's going to appear right away. But if it, it does, uh, let's wait for it to load. Setting it up. There we go. It is going to ask us who we want to be part of our team. So, you can simply add the email of your team members here. Then you could choose whether you want them to be a member which can add and edit content or an admin which can invite and manage your users so you could add them over here so let's say remind me later for now and let's actually proceed over here so uh we're going to name our board the board is basically like the general working area or whatever you're going to work on so let's say over here real estate deals then click on next and over here you could choose uh, items you'd like to manage so you will be able to see the preview over here you could view projects you could view leads clients or tasks it depends on you so uh, I chose task earlier so let's go with task for now click on next and then over here you could edit or modify your view layout as you can see here you are able to add some tables, some timeline. It will look different over here. You could have some Gantt chart, calendar, Kanban, and cards over here. Uh, I will go with the default table for now. We will still be able to view the other options over here later on. So let's click on continue. And over here, we are simply going to list your basic tasks. So in uh, real estate CRM, let's say one of our tasks is research about the real estate or the property so something like this uh, property then for the second task you can say close deal with client now i'm just uh, putting some random task over here you guys will be able to create or organize your different tasks with high categorization for now i'm just going to be inputting some random task over here and for the last task, we could have research property, close deal with client. Let's go with by uh, state, something like that. 
then I click on next and then over here you will be able to group your different tasks you could either have it as this month or next month or you could group it as deals and you can group it over here as customers or clients if you want. There we go. Then you can click on get started so that we can actually start showing you guys how it works. And over here, there we go. We now have our output or the design that we have just created earlier. You have your research property, your close deals with client and by states. Now the groups and the task over here are very important. You will be able to categorize and sort your different tasks with ease. You could easily add some tasks by simply clicking on add task over here. Then you could add new task. And there we go. And you can click on ship enter. Then you will be able to add a new task. Then. then for example, you want to expand and add more information about the research property task. You can click on expand. And then you could put some updates over here. Add some files, GIFs, emojis, or mention someone. And the members that are assigned to that specific task will be able to see uh, that specific activity now i think i accidentally uh did something uh but anyway uh we could easily add groups over here and add tasks uh let's refresh this for a bit and there is a lot of things that you will be able to do as you can see here we could easily change the owner you could assign this to someone you could add or start a conversation you could check out the status over here. There are multiple status reports over here. You could add column that would allow you to use or view different data about this task. For example, you would like to know about the numbers. You could uh, add that here and your members will be able to add that in this area or enter some information over here. For example, research property, it's going to cost like uh, $1 million, something like that. Then you will be able to see. And there will be a sum over here that would allow you to uh, check out the summary then there will be a due date over here that would help you a lot as well and you can add groups by clicking on new groups over here so it's a very very straightforward uh platform actually you could do a big deal of customization you could use this for any type of crm whether it's cars or real estate it depends on which one you prefer now you could add views over here as you can see you will be able to modify and convert your main table to a gun chart it will not remove the main table, it's still going to be here, but you will have a version. But this time with a Gantt chart, then you could add different uh, widgets to it, like chart, numbers, battery, all of those things that you are able to usually or typically see in a Gantt chart. You can see here, if you don't like Gantt chart, you can also add like a chart normally or like a Kanban. And you can see here. And you can see each and every task that you are going to add. Now, you don't need to start with task, by the way. You could start with, let's say, like a property name, something like that. Like you could have the deals over here. Then you could have here property one, something like that. Property two over here, something like that. And you could easily create different types of category. Then you could also customize these labels. So instead of working on it, let's say ongoing deal. Then like that. Then for the red one, let's say uh, deal cancel. Something like that. And you could see, as you can see, it will now appear as deal cancel. Then you could see here like a summary of the colors as well. So that's basically it. You get the idea. You will be able to customize it for your real estate. So that's it for now, guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.